Sure. Um, <clears throat> so Ian Gregg, who's our chief scientist, uh, 20 years ago was operating a digital currency system called DigiGold. And the underlying technology was called Ricardo. That was the name of their platform. So the problem that Ian hit was what exactly were the tokens on the ledger? You know, he had a ledger, he had some values on the ledger, but what does this number mean? You own 7.5 uh, what? So he figured out that he needed a legal contract that specified what the financial instrument was that was being stored on the ledger, but the legal contract also had to then delegate to the ledger the counting of the assets. And he uniquely identified the ledger and all the rest of this stuff using hashes, so that you could basically look up the hash, see the paper contract the hash referred to, and then use that as the uh, indicator of the value that was being stored. So it provided asset identification, and then because it looked so weird, he then connected it to an arbitration system so that you wouldn't have the risk the court wouldn't understand what was happening. Uh, and there was actually litigation over these things in the late 90s in, I think, Systemics versus uh, eGold, something like that. Mm. There was an actual case uh, in a UK jurisdiction called Anguilla. Um, <clears throat> so that bridge building where you use contract law to specify that a specific register will store um, the, the assets associated with a specific contract seems like a fairly clear instance of just we, we know that we're going to use this piece of software to do the record keeping. Mm. Um, and similarly, the asset identification, if the paper contract can correctly identify the asset, in theory, it ought to be able to indicate how the asset will be disposed of. Mm. And this is very similar to escrow, right? Yep. So if you, <clears throat> you know, take the title of a house and put it into an escrow, then you know, you've identified the house, you've identified the person who's the escrow agent, they're all bound together nicely by contracts. It ought to be pretty easy to figure out that you could then put a computer somewhere in the loop and legally nothing would change. 